this is it. Your Excellency Marcelo Leibard, JP, Governor General of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Your Excellency Sir Rodney Williams, Governor General of Antigua and Barbuda and Lady Williams. Your Excellency the Most Honorable Dame Sandra Mason, the President of Barbados. The Lordship the Honorable Justice Molly QC, the Honorable Justice Yvette Wallace QC, and the Honorable Tamara Gill. Your Honor, Hailita Liber, Deputy Governor General for Nevis. Your Excellency, Sir Edmund Lawrence and Lady Lawrence. The Right Excellent and the Right Honorable Dr. Sir Kennedy Simmons, National Hero and Lady Simmons. It is indeed a delight to have you here with us. I stand here with great pride as I speak to you on this significant day. Your Excellency Marcella Leibard Esquire JP, it is such a pleasure and honor to be here today to witness this momentous event the installation ceremony of the very first female Governor General in the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. Your Excellency, your remarkable achievements are an example of what it means to be a patriot. Your passion and love for your nation and people are exemplary and have been the driving force throughout your career. You have lived a life of service to the people of St. Kitts and Nevis in numerous capacities. As a teacher, an athlete, a lawyer, a netballer, a politician, a parliamentarian, a speaker in the House of Assembly, and now the highest honor, Governor General. You remind us that true leadership is not measured in the honors or the distinctions stacked up behind someone's name. Although today you take on yet another title among many. Rather, true leadership is measured in what you do for those around you. It is measured in an ability to reach out and build a promising future for all. We need your vision for better St. Kitts and Nevis as we move towards our concept of transforming our nation into a sustainable island state. A vision of innovation and progression. In this moment of unprecedented change, I recognize the significant movement towards gender parity within our federation an international effort of the St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party administration. We have demonstrated what it means to be committed to gender equality since taking office. The dedication is reflected in our parliament, which currently has the highest number of female members in its history. And now we have once again made history with the first female governor general. The dedication can also be seen in our nominations on boards of, of government entities and within the civil service where women have been granted equal access to the highest advisory and technical posts. Today, as our country takes this important step, I'm confident that we have gained a leader who will ensure that the change we witness in one of hope, fairness, and a brighter future for all of us. Your Excellency, it, is, it will be an honor to work alongside you 
as you make this historic role your own. Thank you for taking up this mantle to serve in true patriotism as the head of state, the first female governor general of St. Kitts and Nevis. I am indeed pleased and proud. God bless you and God bless our beloved nation.